Hi, I'm Tom with Go Measure 3D. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys what is different about the Space Fighter and the EVA. Uh, so the Space Fighter that we have here is great for parts that are around this size, all the way up to about a foot and a half, two feet. Uh, now the EVA is good for parts that are about two feet long, all the way up to a full-size vehicle. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how each of these scanners work with small and large parts. Uh, so we're going to start with the Space Fighter. This is the Artec uh, metrology grade scanner. So real quick, on the back side of the scanner, you have a switch up once to understand your field of view and up one more time to start scanning. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to show you guys the detail that we're getting in these scans. Uh, so you see here's our physical part. Uh, you can even see the brush marks and rust uh, on this part here, and we even got down inside of these holes uh, during the scan. With structure light scanners, sometimes it's a little tricky, uh, but with the Artex, because it is portable, it's very easy to change your orientation and grab uh, inside those holes. So, real quick, I'll show you guys how I got this model. Just go ahead and click scan. taking a little bit of time. All right, there we go. So you see your part there on the screen and up one more time to start scanning. So it's as easy as just make your way around the part real quick and easy. I haven't treated this part with any uh, developer spray or there's no stickers on there, uh, tracking balance, nothing of that sort. We're simply using the geometry and the texture uh, of this part for our tracking. So once you're done, uh, just down once to stop. And real quick, while we're here, I'll show you guys, I mean, you see that we picked up some of the table. I'll show you how easy it is to clean up that data. So we just go into our eraser tab, select the scans that we want to edit. We'll select that plane and simply hit erase. So this data, uh, you see that there's some excess noise, uh, some triangles that are out of place. Once we throw uh, this particular model into the autopilot feature, all of that will be cleaned up and then this is what you will see as a result. Uh, so that is the Artec Space Fighter and I'll show you the EVA. Uh, they work inside of the same software. So all we need to do to get one up and running just two cables, a USB and a power cable. Now we'll go back into the scan tab. All right, go ahead and move this out of the way. Again, once I understand my field of view, you'll see that green bar on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, it just tells you how close or how far away from you are from your object. Uh, but once you're in that green zone, you simply press scan. And you see, in just a matter of a couple of seconds, uh, I've gathered the basic geometry of this entire dash, uh, and I'll show you what the finished product of that scan would look like. So here we are, you can tell that not only are we picking up the geometry, but you even see uh, the very detailed stains that we have here on the side of the dash. Uh, and Real quick and easy, you see how easy it is to gather that information. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.